Happy 2024. We made it. Yes. We're good. I'm going to try and get this all in one take. One, one voice recording. So let's see how this goes. This is footage from when we went to see family over the holidays. Uh, we had this strange mushroom show up in our driveway. I'm told they're oyster mushrooms. We didn't eat them. They're still out there. I have been doing some drawing in my sketchbook. I've got one that I'm trying to fill up. I tried to get it done before the end of the year, but I didn't make it, which, which is okay. I'll finish it. But most of it's just uh, traditional drawings. Nothing too experimental or out there. Lots of graphite drawings, uh, figurative type things, pretty rough, nothing real detailed. I did have these two that I wanted to redo. I just wasn't happy with it. And then this is one from last year that I also want to redo and it shows up here later. This is what I wound up with. It's a little bit looser, but it's still not exactly what I was hoping for. Same thing with the portrait. It's it's not perfect, but I'm going to let it go. It has been cold here. I think the wind chill right now is, is negative 14. I've been working on a book on oil pastels. So cleaning and organizing has kind of fallen to the wayside but um, next on my goals is to get this space cleaned up and just organized so it works better it'll get there eventually this is one that I wanted to, to finish but I think I'm just going to set to the side I did rough in her hand a little bit better but I think this is where it's going to stay for a while I just, I don't know, I'm not feeling it. It's not, I want to move on to some different type of work. My shooting area needs picked up. These are all the oil pastels that I've had, that I've been using. Not all I have, I have several sets over here. There are some packages that have come in the mail that I need to open up with y'all. That I've been holding back. There's not a lot. There's maybe three. But this is just showing my my hot mess of a studio area. There's just it needs it needs an overhaul. I want to do sp something special with this shelving unit that's up here. I love this skeleton with the crown on its head. I have a few boxes here that I've been holding on to. I was saving them so I could open them with you all. There's just three here. Uh, let's let's start with the smallest first and go from there. I know what it is. Um, I wanted to try out a whole mine oil pastels, but I didn't want to buy a whole other set. So I got just a few of colors that I know that I I need or that I will use along with what I've already got. Got some bubble, got some peanuts. Stay peanuts. I don't want them all over the place. And of course this is at the bottom. And I thought being being December in Kansas, this was a better time to order. I ordered these off of um, eBay, or not eBay, sorry, Amazon. What did I say eBay? Nice box, really nice box. Come on, come on. Stinker right there. So 
what I just, I ordered three. I want to test them out. If I were starting over today with oil pastels and I knew which brand I like the best, I would be ordering a, a, a big set. Oh, isn't that neat? They come in little... I like that. Oh, they come in like little containers. I'll swatch these here after a while. I've already got some... some paper set aside to swatch. Wow. I know that's so nerdy. It's, it's a good box. But it's a good box. This one I also... I know what all these are, as a matter of fact. This is... Cinelier. That's a nice size can. I didn't know about ordering this. I've had it on my wish list forever. But I've been using I've been using the Krylon and of course I kept hearing about this one. This one this is specially formulated for oil pastels. So, supposedly. It says, made from a vinyl resin and alcohol base, this totally transparent fixative leaves a clear and glossy film to protect oil pastels against dust and smearing. For best results, apply it in several light coats rather than one heavy application. Turn can upside down after use and press button for a few seconds until gas escapes. But this, this, I, I think this was 20 some dollars for this. And this you can get at your local Walmart or, and, but this you can usually find locally, even in a rural area. While this is, uh, I had to, I had to order this through the mail in order to obtain it. But I'll test that out and let you know what I think of it. Oh no, I broke a nail. Ouch. I never keep pretty nails. I try. You may hear the heater coming on. If I haven't already mentioned in this video, it's cold here. These are some oil pastels that I wanted to try. They're supposed to be extra soft. And they're the pale hues. So I thought these might be really good for portrait of grandkids. And I'll swatch these also. Again, nice box, nice heavy. And that's what they look like. Let me see if they... It has the color number and the name. That's it. What does this tell me? Same thing. Tells me the color number and the so I imagine these are going to be student grade. Selection of macaroon. Inspires hues and metallic oil pastels. Extra soft, creamy texture. Conforms to ASTMD. So they're non-toxic. Designed in Australia, made in China. That's all I got today. I didn't get a lot. 
I'm trying to use up what I have on hand instead of buying new things. Hence why I bought three of these and not a complete set. And these were, if you've used oil pastels, you know that the light colors, you can go through your white really quick. So I thought these would come in handy. I hope, I hope they're extra soft. We'll find out. I'll just fast forward through this process. I know some people are not not fascinated with this task, so I'll just whiz right by it. There's not a lot of flaking or crumbling. They're nice and soft. So I'm impressed. I'm impressed with what those. So that's the, the unboxing for today. I'm not going to be having a lot of unboxings because of just wanting to use up what I've got. I will let you know how this works. I'll probably use it on this and get back with you on it. So that's it for today. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you all more than I can say. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.